Hey, welcome to another Bumpack video, and this is not an unboxing video. No, you're not watching an unboxing video. What I'm going to do today is something that I have initiated about one and a half years ago, maybe two years ago already. Um, it is something that has to do with a pair of these. So like I said in the introduction of the video, um, I bought myself a set of Pioneer TX TS32 speakers. Okay, so I think about two years ago I bought these for a very cheap price. And then I took them apart, I spray painted them, and then I wanted to redo the white pinstriping in here. And I had great difficulty doing the pinstriping. The pinstriping itself, um, I could have done that by masking everything here, but since it's slightly curved, it really is troublesome. And then I have to mask everything. Also, if I would just do everything at once and then cut out the small thin line that also would damage the paint that I already applied to it. So there were a lot of reasons why I wouldn't do that. I tried it several ways, so one of the things that I tried was uh, some sort of injection um, painter in, to put it in here, but that didn't work out because the paint itself doesn't spread evenly. So it, became a bit clumsy. I tried doing it with a marker, a really fine thin point or tip on top of the marker, but felt inside the marker was picking up the paint that I have used here. So um, that didn't work either. Then I tried painting it using a brush, but since the line here is really really thin it's really difficult to apply that with a brush so the only way i can do this is by either masking it with all the issues that i find with that use some sort of material that i would stick in here as a, as a small fine um, how to say that a small fine piece of vinyl, I would be able to do that, cut that with the, um, the plotter or the cutter that I have. So that's still an option. So I'm leaving that open. So what I'm doing now is just, I, I painted them again this week, entirely flat, black again, and I'm going to just assemble them and use them because they have been sitting here for at least a year without me doing actually something with them or at least trying to do something with them. So here I have like my box with stuff that I've moved here. So we have here the white felt pen. Maybe you can see it right here. You can see that the tip is a bit blackish. Another marker that I used same issue. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is the paint that I tried to apply. Just adding some paint using a brush. Whatever. Um, what else? Anyone in need of a racing harness from the Celica? A little metal piece of the Carina. I didn't know that I still had that. Um, all right, let's reassemble this. So apparently there are some parts here that are supposed to be with the Karina. I think at the same time I was doing the, the Karina headlights. And I've got a couple of uh, light bulbs here that fit in there, apparently. Uh, fog light, I presume. And I have no clue how to reassemble this. I've uh, disassembled it a long time ago. And to be honest, I haven't watched the video <laughs> and know how to reassemble it. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. So these screws are all supposed to be in there. Going to need that. about it this is this is like one finished now the question is where does this belong So finally I've been able to uh, to finish this project after two years ago starting it and uh, they, uh, they they look nice. Uh, it, the paintwork could have been better. I mean there are sm small faults errors over here. Yeah, but you know oh, it's even even getting dirty again here. I have no clue what happened. Uh, but they look uh, fantastic compared to how they were looking two years ago. And I'm all caught in uh, a little bit of footage of that. They smell good. They don't smell of cigarette smoke anymore. Um, I know some people of you are smoking and probably won't mind, but I would mind putting this into my car, smelling of cigarette smoke and that sort of stuff. And you may wonder why I'm doing this. Why, why am I reviving these speakers all of a sudden after two years after leaving them? Well, first of all, I really want to get my list a bit cleaner of all the stuff that I initiated and never finished. And I knew that if I would try to keep myself to making this pinstripe, um, 
it probably would have lasted another year, maybe two years before I actually would have done that. Uh, not because I'm, uh, I'm not able to do that, but because just time-wise and there are other things that have higher priority. Second reason why is because I want to get this one all checked and fixed up before putting the, this into the A86. And because I need, well, this has got like a speaker right plus, speaker right minus, um, that sort of stuff. So that's fine, but I need to wire this up and hook it up to one of these speakers and see if it actually works, if it produces sound. And also, what's wrong with the cassette player? So that's all going to happen relatively soon, and that's why I need to have these speakers up and running and working. All right, that leaves me with uh, wishing you all the best and hope you have enjoyed this, you know, someone <laughs> reassembling a set of speakers video. And uh, hope to see you soon with the uh, Let's Fix This head unit radio video. Right, see you, bye.